Bad days can happen to anyone, and I've made a process to help me get through mine. First, I embrace my feelings. This includes journaling and making a gratitude list. Journaling helps me a lot for processing my feelings. Seeing my anxieties and worries written out on paper makes me realize how small or untrue they are. I tend to feel a little lighter after journaling because I realize that a lot of the things in my head are much smaller in real life. I have a slight problem with having too many notebooks, so I normally just grab one and get a nice pen and journal it out. Another thing I do to embrace my feelings is make a gratitude list. Writing a gratitude list reminds me of all the things in life that I have to be grateful for, and it really puts things in perspective for me. I usually start with the basics and then I write anything else that comes to mind. This gratitude list ranged from being grateful for my health and the health of my family to Trader Joe's and their amazing cookies. <laughs> I normally get out a sheet of paper and some colored pens to do this. Next, I get out of my head and I try to take space from my thoughts. I find that spending time outside really helps me clear my mind and focus on other things than my negative or worrying thoughts. I'm more present when I'm in nature because I'm focusing on the pretty nature around me and if I'm talking to somebody, I'm focusing on that conversation. I'm also more aware of things in general. For this time in particular, my sister and I took our dogs for a walk in the neighborhood and we put my one dog in a Santa costume. I also like to get out of my head by talking to somebody that I know and love. This time in particular, I talked to my mom. I like to talk to people who will cheer me up and help me focus on what's important. So I normally like to go on walks with my mom or my best friend or I'll call my grandmother. Then I like to do a favorite activity to cheer me up. This activity can include something I know I like enjoying, like baking, or it can be something that I have wanted to do for a while, such as cleaning my floors. Cleaning my floors or doing a similar chore to that may not seem very exciting or enjoyable, but um, cleaning is therapeutic for me, so that's something that I like to do. This time around, I decided to bake because my sister was begging for some blueberry muffins, so I just took some time to listen to music and enjoy the baking process. I like to do all the activities that I'm listing in order to turn a bad day around, but I have found that it goes a long way with keeping a positive well-being for me if I do one of these activities a day. Being mindful really helps me stay in a positive mindset and avoid the bad day in the first place. Doing an activity that can also make somebody else's day a little brighter is an added bonus. I love to bake muffins to cheer my friends up too. Another favorite activity of mine is reading. I love to sit by the fire and the Christmas tree and read a good book. Getting immersed in a story always makes me happy.